Right, I'll talk about front lights to start with. Okay, these are four inch stainless steel lights you can get off eBay. I think they're about 39, 40 quid a pair. These little lights are just bicycle lights, um, which are about a fiver each, three postage from China. And these two red lights you can get clear or you could get red or whatever colour. And they're off of a Lambretta scooter that were also off of eBay. The four lights that are on this are off of um, some batteries that were used in the Second World War when the air raid was coming. They used to have these little lights connected on batteries so they could turn the electric off, but people could still see. These two front lights on this one, on Lucky, they were off of eBay and I was lucky. They're Austin Ely lights and I was lucky they were only 12 quid the pair. The lights on this one, they're also off of an old, uh, they're off of the war batteries. The lights on these two cars, the half limo and the limo, they're just standard spotlight so that you can get off of eBay. Quite reasonable, you can get 4 inch, 5 inch and 6 inch. I think the 4 inch were about 17 quid a pair. The lights on this one, they're also just standard 4 inch spotlights. The lights on this one were off of a Vespa scooter. I got them for 20 quid for the four of them, a bit of luck because they had no brackets on them to fit them on, but I made the brackets for them. Right, let's talk about rear lights. These are the best type of lights for a curved. They're off of a rascal scooter. I found a bit tricky to get hold of, but if you're doing a curved boot, these lights are curved and they're magic. They're just right for the job. Plus, they look a bit old-fashioned. If you use this type of indicator, you've not got to worry about if you're putting them on the sticking out from the the bottom of the sink you've cut out. It's not so bad because you've got room the other side um, where they're not going to foul up with anything. Right, let's talk about front lights. Now, this is one of those four-inch spotlights. I've just took the inside of it out just to show you really what's going on and what you need to do. There's a little screw inside that holds this bit fitting on. Okay, you take this out and bung this because you don't need this anymore. Now, this is off of a mobility scooter. There's two types of your lights, lights and indicators. They're like this. A lot of the time, I'm fitting these in, but on this occasion, these... Right, they just fit in there and you just woggle that round there and that fits in a treat. But I'm, there's a little tag on there that I'm cutting out so it goes flatter. Okay, so then that solves the problem of your front light with the spotlight type. Yep. On the other ones, as I say, on the other ones I am fitting... Fitting these in the back, right? I did start turning over, going over to LED lights, but I put four of them on this car that I've got there, and within a week when I came back, the balls had blown, so I'm back on the standard mobility scooter hal hal halogen lamps uh, bulbs, the Catalyst 5-odd five, uh, five watt. Right, now, these are a selection of indicators here. These are a pair that I picked up. They're off of a rascal, and they are my favourites. Uh, you can get them like that, and they've got yellow bulbs for the indicators, or you can get them with them kind of colours, and you have white bulbs in them. This is just a complete selection um, to show you of different types of indicators and things that you can use because you're not restricted to anything. Right, indicators, if you're putting these on a mudguard like I've done on this car next to me, when you drill the hole and you screw them on, you've not got much sticking through the back. Whereas if you try and use something else, like this, you've got a lot sticking through the back that could hit the wheel and things. So, um, these, these are LED and they're brilliant because they're 12 or 24 volts. So it don't matter. You've not got to do nothing to them, but just wire them in. And it doesn't matter which is black or red, uh, yellow or black. 
when you wire them in. These lights I've not used yet. I've picked these up, but these are brilliant because these, like these other ones, these are curved to fit on something curved. But the beauty of that, you can take this bit off and you could use them flat. And the indicator's in the middle and the light's round it. I don't know what scooter they're off. Right. These are some other nice little lights that you can fit on your, on your mud guards, which are nice little lights. Uh, nice little indicators rather and you can get these in more than one size they're quite really small ones and you can get these that are slightly bigger and they're not that dear i got them off of a ebay free postage from china these lights these are ordinary push bike lights that are a quid if you're going to make a trailer or any terrible vehicle these are brilliant to put on and they're only a pound you've got to cut the bracket to be able to screw it on but you can figure that out easy right the indicator the uh, reflectors i'm using for front and rear they're not too dear either if you buy them in quite a few at a time they're by a firm called maypole so if you just looked up on ebay maypole reflectors uh, these are bound to come up. A lot of these indicators uh, and things you get now that are that are LED. That they're um, they're not limited to the voltage. You can use them on twelves or twenty fours. That's about it on that. Now I just need to show you about wiring. Right, this is a front shop rider light fitting. Right, the near side and off side are both the same. There's four wires going into three. I'll explain what's happening with that. Right, what you've got here is you've got you've got your positives, the put two positives from the light and the indicator joining together. So the positive is going in one side, then the indicator is the green wire going in, and the black wire going in is the other one to the lights. Okay, so really, um, I'm gonna cut this up and explain to you if you want to put extra lights on what you've got to do because all you've got to do really is these two from the lights is to join another two and uh, on there and then you'd have two lights and it won't affect anything at all on the rear of these cordovers you've not got that problem because the indicators and the light fittings are two separate two pinners but this is a three pin on the front and what happens is you have to extend the wires usually if you're putting a bonnet and a bigger front on right i've chopped that up now so you can see really what's going on because these two go into there and these two are going into there but the reds are joining before they get there basically um, I'll join another light in and I'm going to plug it in so that you can see what's going on. Right, I've, I've joined this up like this so it's pretty, so it's easy for you to understand. So basically, instead of one light now, you've got two lights. So I've got three red positives going in and one coming out into there. So the red and the blacks are running them two lights. And the green and the other red are going to run the indicator. Now, so that you, I'm just going to plug these in so you can see it in action so that you maybe will give you a bit of understanding on what's going on with the wiring. Right, I've plugged them in now, so I've turned the ignition on and I should have two headlights on the right, yep, and one on the left. Okay, I've not bothered doing both sides. This isn't going to blow it. This is just so that give you a bit of confidence that I know what I'm talking about, so I wouldn't do it. And then you should have indicators. Right. Right, okay, I've got a bulb gone by the look of it on the left-hand side. Yeah, I've replaced that. That was just a bulb out. Okay, so that's lights on and off. Okay, I've got two on the off side, one on the near side. And then indicators, yep, near side, off side, yep, lights on, yep, no problem. Right, as if warning lights, yep. Right, I've took that fist fitted out of there now, um, and it's just going to quickly show you how you can 
there's several different ways. If you've got indicators and you've got your lights and they're further apart because you've put a bonnet on it, you need to extend the wires. There's several ways of doing this. You can and remember that in the old days, red was positive, black was negative, but now it's brown positive and blue negative. So it's red and brown together and blue and black together. Now, several ways of joining these. You can put a bit of sleeve in on there um, and then you can solder it using a small soldering iron and then after you've soldered it to get the wire longer, you can then, you just push the sleeve in over the solder, right, after you've soldered that, and then tape it round, and then twist the same again, this side solder it, and slide the sleeve in over, and then tape it up, and you've got to join. You've got to do this twice, obviously, for both parts. Is that, what? which is a good permanent way. You've got another way to extend the cables, you've got things like these little male and female clips, you've got round ones you can get, or you can get a straight connector that you crimp on there. This is a Davico, uh, or Davco, or whatever it is, um, tool for crimping these little things on. And all you're doing on this kind of thing to join this is you're getting one of these on here, you're pushing it in there, like this, then we've got a crimping machine, Get the, it's got several sizes, then I'm just doing that, finished, on that one, and then on the other side, you're doing, because that was um, red, we need the red on there, because that's alive, then we do the same thing on, say, this, I'm only doing this just to show you how to do it. I'm not going to use these bits. It's just to show you what's going on. Right, and then all you've got to do then is the same on that cramp there. Then you've got a joint that you can take apart, whereas a solder and you can't. But that just pushes on there and you've got a connection. As I say, there's several different types of these things and they're cheap, really kind of 10 pence each or whatever. Um, so it's just an idea to help you joining your wires together. Well, I hope this video has been of some use um, to you because um, it's annoying sometimes. You, you can't do something only because you don't know how, not that you haven't got the talent. Anyway, I hope it's been helpful. Cheers.